Hello there, I'm the Nagor, and this is the first video in a series of Nagor Doodles. In this series, I will be making uh, several drawing videos where I make drawings of seemingly random things. In this first video, I am making a drawing of Thought Warrior. For any of you who don't know what a thought is, a thought is basically where a person pretends to like someone else for their personality, but really they don't like them for that, and they only want them for their body. Then I thought, this can't be good for the person on the other end who is dating this thought. They need a strong, dedicated warrior to help protect them against these thoughts. And that's where Thought Warrior comes in. His job is to protect people against thoughts, and to make sure that these people live a long, happy life without having to worry about caring for someone that doesn't care for them in the same way. So here is the original image that I made to send to people. The face part of this picture is made from a Snapchat filter that someone else took of me. And now with this photo I am drawing here, I can send that to people instead of the other one that I made. And in case anyone asks, I am using Microsoft Paint 3D to make this. At first I used the original Microsoft Paint, where I made my first YouTube logo. Then when Microsoft came out with Paint 3D, I enjoyed that a lot better. The only complaint I would have with Paint 3D is that when you try and fill something in, it fills in the pixels around it too as you can see in me drawing this right now and struggling a little bit. Other than that, I feel it's a lot better than Microsoft Paint in many different ways. I love the stamp tool that I added, and I also love the magic select tool. I use that tool a lot, especially when making the outside chicken profile pictures. Another feature I wish they could bring back from the original Microsoft Paint is the feature where when you press F11, it'll make the photo itself full screen. When I made my stories, I use that feature to make the picture the full screen so that I can make sure there's no black bars on the side of the video. Now when I make the image, I have to make the picture the same exact pixel size as the screen monitor on my computer. So that's going to be a little bit annoying. Speaking of future videos, the goals I want to have with the future of the videos on this channel, I want to have more drawing videos, and I want to have a storytelling video series where I tell stories of things that happen in real life. And I'm sorry if I am disappointing the 10 of you that have watched that video series. Even though I did have fun making those videos, I feel it was too generic to put on YouTube since several other YouTubers were doing the exact same thing and I just wasn't getting any traction out of it. I might play a couple games here and there if you guys want me to, but in general, I am not going to make a full series of just gaming videos on this channel. Now with this series, I wasn't going to make it, you know, just a drawing video. Music in the background sped up by 30 times. I figured it would make it a series where I would talk to the people who watch this channel, the fans, and answer some of the comments on previous videos, in which I can do that right now. The first comment comes from Jackson Scott, and it simply says, This is epic. Thank you very much. And the second and only other comment on this video says that Aiden Kin has a super annoying voice. By the way, it's Aiden. And those were all the comments I got on the last video that I made months ago. Now I am going to be posting videos more often. They won't be every day because I still have responsibilities of my own. But whenever I get the chance, I will post a video, whether it be this one or a tell a story of something else. I will also be doing more videos with my face in it instead of me hiding behind my face right now. Since I know you all miss that gorgeous face of mine. Well, I think I've, uh, I kind of ran out of things to say. So I might just go ahead and skip to the end of this and show you the final product. But before I do, I just want to let you know that I do have a Twitter, and I'm going to be posting memes and other goodness on there, so stay tuned for that. I'll also be announcing on there when my videos come out, and welp, I present to you, the final product. Thank you to everyone who took the time to watch this video. Make sure you subscribe to see when I post the next stuff, and I'll see you all later.